Caffeine, aka nature's original nootropic. The stimulant single-handedly responsible for turning your Monday mornings from an existential crisis into something actually manageable. All right, let's talk about the cognitive effects of caffeine. Sure, it's the most widely consumed psychoactive substance on earth, but how exactly does it boost your brain power? Here's the deal. Caffeine works primarily by blocking something called adenosine receptors in your brain. Adenosine is basically your brain's chill out molecule. Chill. It accumulates throughout the day, making you feel tired. Caffeine jumps in and blocks adenosine, preventing fatigue and leaving you feeling alert, awake, and ready to tackle your already overflowing inbox. But that's not all. Caffeine also increases dopamine and norepinephrine, two key neurotransmitters responsible for focus, attention, motivation, and reaction time. So yes, your morning coffee literally helps your brain perform better. So what are the actual cognitive benefits that you'll notice? Better focus, improved alertness, increased motivation, faster reaction time, and even enhanced mood. Basically everything you need to get through that spreadsheet or workout without crying. Not that I would ever cry at Stop the cap. But let's be clear, caffeine isn't without its drawbacks. Too much caffeine or caffeine taken too late in the day can leave you feeling jittery, anxious, or staring at your ceiling at 3 a.m. wondering why you ever trusted it. Plus, caffeine tolerance is very real. The more frequently you use it, the less effective it becomes, meaning you'll need more and more just to feel normal. The best way to keep caffeine effective? Moderate doses in periodic cycling, so you stay sensitive to its effects. Ideal dosing for cognitive benefits and a relatively caffeine naive individual is typically around 100 to 200 milligrams per serving. Personally, I need that much just to keep my heart beating. Now, as a doctor, I'm supposed to tell you to keep your total daily caffeine intake under 400 milligrams. That's roughly between two to four cups of coffee a day. But seriously, for your own sleep's sake, limit your caffeine consumption to early in the day. Bottom line, caffeine is a legitimate, scientifically backed nootropic that delivers improved cognitive performance, focus, mood, and energy. But it's powerful stuff, so use it wisely. Moderate your dose, avoid late day consumption, and respect your own tolerance. That's caffeine. Real brain boost, real risk, real strategy required. Proceed accordingly.